would say think about startups in the same way as the more times you try, the more likely you're gonna, you know, you're gonna be in the right place, you're gonna be with the right people, um, the idea is gonna be right, the market is gonna be ready. Um, like if, if, if we look at Facebook as an example, Mark Zuckerberg, he's a really smart guy, he had a really great idea, but he was also amazingly lucky. There were um, multiple social networks before Facebook. Uh, there's a Internet, there's a social network called Friendster that was two or three years before that. There was a social network called MySpace. Probably 10 or 12 years before Facebook, there was a social network called Six Degrees, and the idea was that every person in the world is connected by six degrees of separation or less. That thing was an abysmal failure. I remember I signed up for it. I went to my boss, I said, you should sign up for this thing called Six Degrees, and she's like, no idea what this is or why I would do it. It was it was literally Facebook ten years earlier, so it was the wrong time for that idea. Mark Zuckerberg had basically the exact same idea ten years later, and you know he's a you know one of the richest, wealthiest men in the world. So persistence, the right people, and luck. <laughs> Before I was in a startup, before I was an entrepreneur, I was 
actually pretty scared. I, it just seemed like a really weird concept to me to go start a company. I would say the thing that I got the most out of it was when you're in a really large organization, you kind of count on things getting taken care of. And I'll, like I'll use a very um, easy example. When I was at the Walt Disney Company, you know, I go in, I go through employee orientation, and then the first thing they do is they hand me a laptop, they hand me a packet that says, here's your health insurance, they say, here's the cafeteria, all of those things. And when you're in a startup, there is nobody who hands you a laptop, there is nobody who hands you your information packet on health insurance. Every problem you have to solve yourself. And so what I would say is, my perspective on entrepreneurship afterwards was, oh wow, like, Every problem that comes up in the company, like one of these three people, like me and my co-founders, have got to have got to solve that problem. And, and that problem could be that we haven't figured out where we're getting health insurance. It could be we haven't figured out where we're getting lunch. Um, it could be that we thought we had this really smart idea and nobody is willing to pay for it. So we better figure out how we're going to change our product so someone is willing to pay for it. So it really was that idea of self-sufficiency. And even though I'm back working for a larger company now, um, it's given me a perspective of really appreciating the fact that, oh, like, there's somebody else who's going to figure out what we're doing for lunch. And there's somebody else who's going to go figure out why stuff isn't selling. I can mostly focus on whether the technology works or not. So th that's what I would say is the self-sufficiency really.